Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, we will see how to create three different types of slides using Elementor. So the first type will be the image slide. You will see this example here only images are sliding. So this is the example of only the image slide. The next example will be the text slide. So here you will see only the text is sliding and you will see the color in the background. So this is the text slider and the third slide will be image and text slide. Here you will see the image in the background and you will see the content on the image. So it will be the image and text slide using Elementor. So basically in this video, we are going to create three different types of slides using Elementor. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm already logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. So we are going to create three different types of sliders on the home page of the website. So this is the home page of the website. So let's right click on this one edit with elementor and let's open it in a new tab so this is the home page of the website and you may remember that we created this single page template using the elementor theme builder now on the home page we do not want this sidebar as well as this title we are going to start with the slider at the top so how we can do this so we are going to use the elementor for this now let's go back to the list of pages here on the home click on edit now this page is using the default template so let's change it to elementor full width and update it so we are not using the single page template for this home page now let's go back to edit with elementor and let's refresh this one now you will see that the title section as well as the sidebar section is gone so now let's start with the image slider so it will be only images that we are going to use on the slider click on the plus sign and use the single column section okay now we want the slider full width so here content width select full width and column gaps no gap all right now click on the plus sign here look for slide now here you will see the option image carousal the option this is the element that comes with the free elementor plugin so this is not the part of the pro elementor plugin so you can use it without using the pro plugin on your website so click on it drag and drop it here okay now here you will see the option to select the images so click on the plus sign i already have two images so i'm going to select those two images so we can use any number of images for the slider so these two images are selected in future if you want to add more images you can click on add to gallery then you can choose from the media library as well as you can upload from your computer All right so right now we have two images selected so click on insert gallery here you will see the default layout so from here select the size image size will be full so we want because we want it full size image slider slides to show change it to one so only one image will be shown at a time image stretch select yes so it will be full width now here you will see the option navigation arrows and dots so let's change it to arrows only here you will see the dots and these are the arrows so let's select arrows only and dot the dots will be removed now now link let's say none if you select none then no one will be able to click on this image if you want to make it clickable you can select custom url and you can place the link here where you want to open it or where you want them to redirect if you select media file it will open the image so let's see i have selected media file if i click on it it will show the media file the image okay now the light box click yes if you are choosing media file then select light, light box let's check it so this is the light box okay so right now i'm not going to select anything select none additional settings this will be autoplay so it will start playing automatically 
pause on hover so if you move the cursor on the image it will pause pause on interaction yes or no auto speed so this will be the speed of the slider after this time interval it will change the slide it is set to 5000 milliseconds so it will be like 5 second after every 5 seconds it's going to change the slide infinite loop so it will keep on changing the slide now slide effect so right now effect is set to slide so you you'll see the images are sliding from to the left if you change it to fade the image will fade only like this so it's not sliding so let's set to slide animation speed now direction if you want to change the direction you can change it to right and it will change the slide to the right direction okay so the direction has been changed now let's go to the style so there is nothing much about the style you will see the the arrows icon size so this is the arrows icon if i change it to let's say increase the size you will see the size increase you can change the color also let's change it to red and you will see it on red color image so if you want to set any border you can select the border and if you want to select border radius you can set the border radius also let's see okay now let's update it and let's see how does this look on the actual page on view page so this is how the slider will look so after the menu we have selected the slider okay you will see the arrows to change the slide so this is the basic slider with the images only now let's move on to the next part that will be text slider so it will be only the text slider let me do one thing let me add some space here so let's add the spacer here okay now let's add a new column and it will be also full width no gap okay now click on the plus sign and look for the slides again and here you will see the option slides this element is a part of elementor pro plugin so you will need elementor pro plugin for this so click on it drag and drop it here now here you will see the default colors are here so right now there are three different slides so let me remove one so you can add if you want you can add more slides also like this there is a button add item you can click on it if you want to duplicate the slide you can simply click on this one and it will duplicate the slide so let's see the settings of the first slide so here you will see the color the background color for the slide if you want to change it you can select this and let's say you want to change it to dark blue so this is the dark blue okay now let's say the content so this is also the image part we will see the image part in the next slide now this is the content here you will see the option content and here it shows slide one heading if you want to change the heading you can change it from here this is this is the title and this is the description yeah here you will not see the line break so i'm going to add it manually so you can use the html tags also if if you want to add line break you can use the html tag here so this is the button so let's say read more so whenever someone clicks on it it will go to the contact page apply on a whole slide so it will be applied to the whole slide or you can apply it to button only so it will be applied to the button only okay now let's change the color of the second slide let's change it to a red or kind of maroon color okay now let's go to the content and change the content to So from here you can change the content of the text slide. All right now, if you want to use any third party link, you can use the third party link here also for the button. You can change the text of the button. Okay, so these are the settings for the 
slide the text slide now we are going to customize it now you can see the height of the slide right now it is set to 400 you can change it to 500 or you can change it to 300 so from here you can change the height of the slide okay now these are the slider options so you can have the arrows and dots or only arrows or only dots and you can simply have it none so i'll set to arrows only okay auto play is selected pause and hover these are the same setting that we saw in the previous slide pause on interaction slide transition is slide or fade the same slides are there content animation is up so content is coming from bottom to up so if you want to change it you can change it let's say down so you will see the content will come down right now let's see the styles of this the content width so right now it is set to 66 percent of the total width of the slide so let's change it to 80 percent and let's see how does this look 80 percent and right now there is no content let me change this content let me remove the br tag and copy in it let me add some extra content here on both the slides Now let's go back to the content and right now it is set to 80% let's change it to 60% and you will see the difference so you will see the content width 60% of the total width of the slide all right let's change it back to 80% if you want to add any padding you can add the padding here now this is the horizontal position is center if you want to change to the right you can change it to right or left let's make it center now vertical position is also set to center you can change it to bottom or top and the text align is set to center let's change it to right or you can change it to left all right these are the text shadow title settings are here now let's say the title color if you want to change it you can change it from here and these are the typography settings so you can change primary secondary or accent or you can change it from here right now it is set to roboto if you want to change the font you can change the font also so you will find many fonts here let's try this one and you will see the difference here you can change the size also all right so this will be the size and width okay so from here you can change the font the title font settings this is the description let's increase the size all right now this is the button small let's change it to medium and this is typography the background color you can change it from here so we are using the gradient color and border radius for the button so you will see the changes here okay this is the border if you want to remove the border you can remove the border also right now it is let's say make it zero and you will see the body is gone so let's change it to one right now let's see the navigation these are the settings for the navigation the arrows and dots so these are the basic settings of this text slider so let's go back to the main slides and change the height of the slide content let's change the height so that it will look good so right now we have set it to 500 this is how you can make the changes to this text slider now let's move on to the next slider so we will be using the same text slider and we will be adding background image to this slide so it will be like the image and text slide select this section right click on it and duplicate it okay so we are using the same slide here the same slider here and let me add some spacer here above this one 
okay so so that you can differentiate between these two sliders so this is the second slider so now let's go to the edit section of this slider so we are going to use the background images for this one so we will keep the same content here so here instead of color we are going to select the image so click on this one image i already have the images uploaded so i'm going to select the image here right now let's see cover and let's see use can burns effect and you will see that the image is moving outward you will see the zoom direction in or you can make it out also and you will see the image is going out so let's change it to in background overlay so we are going to add some background overlay so that the text the white text will look good on this one so if you want to change the color of the background you can change overlay you can change it from here make it dark so that it will look good okay now let's go to the second slide click on the image and select the second image here and let's have some can burns effect on this one also and background overlay let's change the color to let's say dark green okay you will see the image is also there okay so these are the two images if you want to change the height you can change the height let's say 600 change the overlay to where it will look good let's go to the style section and content width we are going to change it to let's say 50 percent and the horizontal position will be to the right the vertical position will be to the bottom and the text align will be to the right okay so we have the text entire text on the right side of this image so let's change the size Let's say eighty percent, sixty percent, and let's have it the vertical position to the middle. So from here you can change the size, uh, change the position of the text that is coming on the image. If you want to change the individual slide text position, you can do that also. Let's go to the content. Uh, let's change the style of the second slide so you can individually change the style section of the slide also you can click on this style and go to custom and from here you can change the position for this particular second slide so let me let me show it the second slide i'm going to make it bottom so you will see that it is on at the bottom and let's center align it so this will be applied only to the second because we are using the custom style section for the second slide okay so this is how you can change the color content color also and the text shadow text align for the individual item all right now let's update it now go back to the home page and let's refresh it so this is the first slide and this is the second slide that is only the text slide and this is the third slide that will be the text and image slide so you will see the image at the background the text on the image and the button is also there all right so this is how you can create image text and image text slide using elementor so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.